Governor de Blasio leaves for Israel tonight, where he plans to meet with Israelis and Palestinians. The mayor will meet with Israeli officials, visit sites, including the Western Wall in Jerusalem, and also deliver a speech on anti-Semitism. He's also expected to visit a school where Arab and Jewish children attend classes together. De Blasio had considered to visit the West Bank, but that was shelved because of security reasons. He is due to return on Sunday, and those security concerns are due to a recent wave of violence in Israel and the West Bank. CBS 2 political reporter Marsha Kramer shows us how it's also caused an intense and emotional clash between Palestinian and Jewish leaders on both sides of the Atlantic. 13-year-old Ahmed Manasra is at the center of the latest war of words between the Israelis and the Palestinians. <laughs> Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas charged that Manasra, who stabbed an Israeli boy in the wave of violence that has hit the Holy Land, was killed as part of what he called Israel's, quote, summary execution of our children in cold blood. <laughs> he is not dead. He is alive. He is not innocent. He tried to murder a 13 year old child who was riding his bike. The Israeli Foreign Ministry quickly put out pictures of Manasra recuperating in a hospital bed to quell the uproar. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said a boss was trying to incite more bloodshed. Here in New York, Jewish groups rallied for an end to the violence. Several talking about a provocative tweet from a prominent Arab American activist, Linda Sarsour, a picture of a Palestinian child with a rock in his hand and the words, the definition of courage. It might have disappeared into the Twittersphere, but an angry Jewish city councilman tweeted back, calling the picture the definition of barbarism. Encouraging and validating that barbarous behavior. She has monstrous views. Upsetting to some, Sarsour's organization has received $164,000 in city council funding since 2012. She should suffer the consequences. Whoever says courageous is complicit to the act of murder. I think she should lose her city council funding. But Lansman stopped short of saying Sarsour should lose her city funds. I think we have to be careful about um, making funding decisions uh, based on the personal views of the people who lead those organizations. Now, repeated attempts to reach Sarsour were unsuccessful. Meanwhile, in Israel, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said he would be open to meeting with Palestinian leaders to stop the incitement and stop the attacks. Maurice and Christine. Marcia, thank you.